everyone, welcome back and of course if you're new here, welcome. My name is Iani and of course this is Diane. We are doing together this DIY channel. If you like this content, of course, because I want to keep it short, if you like this content, click the red subscribe button and of course if you want to see more DIYs, come on over to our description box. There you find all the links for our YouTube channels with lots and lots of DIYs to see. For today, of course, we are going to make two new tumbling towel blocks inspiration DIY. So if you like this, get out your tumbling towel blocks, get out your glue gun and join us. And if you only want to watch, have fun watching. Hey, let's start with the new DIY. Today I'm reusing this cork board that I used for Christmas DIY. This is a gingerbread cupboard. And uh, I'm going to give it a repaint. Now there still is some glue attached here. Let's see if I can get that off. And then we can start crafting away. Look, there it comes off. Okay, what we're first going to do, I have the blackboard paint here because I want this to have a nice even color. I painted it brown once, but I don't think that's a suitable color for this decor. So I'm going to give it a complete black paint, but you can also add another pattern or whatever you like. Uh, but I think black fits the best into the interior that I'll be using right now. Next step, I painted both the front and the back side. And uh, now it's time to get out with those Jenga blocks. And I also have my Crea patch glue here. This is just the uh, dupe of Mod Podge here in the Netherlands. This stuff is 17 times cheaper than real Mod Podge. And it works practically the same. Uh, I took out the Jenga blocks as well because I want to make some sort of, you know, around like this around. And I tried, uh, you know, doing it on this particular side. But to be honest, those blocks are a little bit too too large for that. These are one of the largest blocks I've ever seen by the way. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, uh, yeah, you have gaps and it doesn't look really nice. So I thought why just not glue around like this. But then you have to figure out how you want to glue. And uh, yeah, first I'm going to figure that out. And that is the good thing about this glue. Instead of using the hot glue gun, which I also have ready here for later stadium, because you can still move around a little bit while, uh, you know, you are gluing. So, uh, yeah, I think I first draw around this uh, this edge, some glue here. And I'm just going to gently place those blocks and, you know, slide them a little bit. So, hopefully I make a really nice round. And, uh, yeah, this stuff dries up transparent, so you don't have to be afraid that you're getting stained. But that might be different for your type of glue that you're using. Okay, that didn't went so well. I thought it was a good idea, but then I started figuring out what if I want to have an extra round of blocks that just doesn't fit. Because these blocks are, uh, you know, they are new and they are much bigger than the old ones I had. I still have one left. Look, this is the difference. How large and small they are. So with these, you can build better rounds, but these are just a little bit too big. So I rem removed everything and uh, I'm going to grab myself a piece of tissue paper. And I'm carefully going to rub off the glue, if that still works. I think so, because this stuff uh, is water resistant and you can also clean the glue with water. So I'm going to do that. I also will be cleaning the blocks and I'm going to start over again. Yeah, sometimes you have something in mind that doesn't work out when you, you want to try it in real life. But no issue, we're going to get, uh, you know, we're going to make this really nice. So let's start over again, but we still want to build the blocks, but then a different way. This is my next idea. Didn't glue anything yet, but the glue gun is warming up. I first laid down everything and I thought this would be a nice idea too. Um, yeah, now I really want to use the hot glue gun because this is, uh, you know, a better way of gluing. Let's remove these first so we have a little bit more space to work. 
it fits that's most important well where shall we start I think just here on the top section okay well, let's glue away. Okay, this is it for now. I'm laying it to rest, let it dry. Let's gently rub away those spider webs because they are here and there. And I really want to let it dry really well. I can turn off this. And uh, yeah, then we have our next part of the DLI. One trick that might be useful. Uh, I turn it over carefully and uh, I see kind of gaps here. And I want to make sure that everything is secured tight, so what I'm going to do, I'll just push the glue in all of these holes here. And by doing that, I want to make sure that this thing is more secure, because the wooden blocks are kind of heavy. You don't want to, your D-line to fall apart. Everything is dry, and if you know me, you know it's the UX time. <coughs> Okay, grab your pencil or brush and uh, start brushing away. UX is dry. And I found this nice, actually it's from a coloring book page, and I colored in the lemon myself. And I just put some letters over it, and uh, then we have a nice printable. I think I'm going to use the big one. If you are a member of DecoEasy, you can download these for free in the member section on our channel. I'm going to cut these out to get this nice printable. Okay, the bee wax is dry, time to spice things up a little bit, so I made myself this nice printable. Got the lemon from a coloring page uh, on the internet, colored it myself, just did it with paint and placed some letters over it. Now I'm going to uh, cut it out and then we have a nice central piece for the card. Almost there, the only thing I want to do is touch up the edges, so you can't see the white of where I cut the paper. What I'll do, that's a tip from Jenny, just lay my marker around here and then start pulling it on the side of the paper. And by that you actually cover up the white cut from where you can see the paper and it looks more high end. Good, that is done. Now. I take the glue again. You can also use glue spray. I'm going to use brush to divide the glue and the glue doesn't want to come out yet. Oh, I didn't open it far enough, I think. Okay, <laughs> that feels stupid. There we go again. Yeah, there it is. Good. I always keep one brush apart so I can quickly brush any air out that might get underneath. This is done within seconds. Make sure that you cover up the edges really well. Okay, the camera suddenly stopped. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to apply it. Ooh, don't let that fall down. In the center. Don't touch it. Let's turn it up and see if it is really in the center. 
to drag it around a little bit. Okay, now I'm pushing in the center and then I start brushing outwards to get rid of any air that might get underneath. And there you are. Easy as that. Let it dry. In the meantime, I think I'm going to apply something else. Let's heat up the glue gun for that. Put this aside so it isn't in the way. I will stack everything I don't need here underneath. I have a piece of this rope and I thought it was a really nice idea to cover up that edge here with rope. Oh, and there's some plastic here. This is what's the start of the complete rope. Okay, now it is a little bit too long. No problem. Let's first start gluing, well, let's say in tenth of this far, until we're happy with the result. And then we can cut off the extra rope that is still attached. I'm sorry, I thought that the camera was on, but it wasn't somehow. Um, what I did, I just put glue underneath here. I glued here the center or the beginning part so it doesn't fall apart while I'm gluing. I'm just doing it like this. Add a nice thick layer of glue and then press it in place. Wait a few seconds until ooh, the glue is dry. Now we'll turn this over here so we can check out the last part. I think there has to be cut here, so I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to glue everything together. I think I just reheat this part here, but just simply holding the hot glue of the tip on the glue and it just start, melts and it will be sticky again. I don't, uh, don't know if it works, but I will try to. I hope it's done. Time to add a little bit more thick core. I have these old lemons that I'm going to cut in half because the inside of this is styrofoam and then I'll be gluing it upon uh, here. Okay, the lemons are cut in half and I rearranged everything a little bit to see if I'm happy with it and I'm just going to glue now. I can't let these black by the way on the inside but if there might be a part that you see peeping through then it isn't that bad, you know what I mean? This has to be done pretty lightly. Make sure that your hot glue gun isn't too hot, otherwise the styrofoam core might melt. Cut that once and then you can start all over again. So I'm going down here as well. And I'll place two of those lemons on top to cover up the knot that I made for the you know, the beginning and the end of the rope. So, one here. Hope that it will stick. And the other one there. Just like this. Well, let's turn it off, remove the spider webs. And then I think it can use a little bit more green, to be honest. I have multiple of these but palm branches and you can easily cut them off from the big branch so that's what i'm going to do and then use the leaves which you can also cut smaller to give it a more realistic look and i can always if you want to leave that top section on the big branch and then cut off the bottom part like for example this, but you got to determine which size you want to use, just like so. Oh, there is our wire in here. Let's bend it up and down. There it is. Like that you're saying, I want to be, it to be around here or something, or maybe tucked underneath. Yeah, just got to look what suits for you. Or tuck it in there. Or, yeah, I think this is the best, but it's too big, so I'm going to cut several more off. And crack this thing like so. Is it too big? Yeah, it's still too, found it too big. 
And this branch, by the way, I bought it. Oh, that one I wanted. No iron wire big there. <laughs> and this uh, branch was on sale last summer. And uh, I think it was only about 50 or so. Oh, look, you can still stuck it in. So that's what I'm going to do then. Nice and blue. Oops. And tuck it in underneath. Hold. Just let the glue dry. And there you are. Now, let's set up more of these. Oh, look how perfectly this goes. On, on top of the rope, when you tuck it in underneath. Look, it beautifully falls over because of the shape of the leaf. Yeah, this is becoming pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to continue a little bit like that. Look, you can also add a smaller one because the more top parts are smaller than the leaves on the bottom. This is going to be beautiful. I'm going to arrange everything and I will show you the next step of the next shot. And here it is, the final result. Look how happy this decor is. Let us know in the comment section what you think of it. And we thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.